I'm going to do some random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong. This is a great way to practice finding score in your dealt hand. We're going to do four random pulls, one for each wind of the round, starting with East Round. I rolled a four, so we're going to say that we're in the north seat for this exercise. For the player in north seat, they get 13 tiles. Okay, so this is what a drawn hand might look like. Four dots, three cracks, three bams, a couple of honors, and a flower. This flower, three flower, that's not ours. We're in seat four, so we're not going to get score for that. We got a three bam. So here we have four bams and four dots, three cracks. Probably what I would do here hold the dragons. Any pung of dragons is worth a fawn. So if we pair up, we could pung and get a fawn. Then, depending on what we draw, either dots or bams, go for a half flesh. Discard these first. I think that's what I would do here. If you mix chows in different suits, those are not going to give you any value. So it's going to be one or the other. This is going to be a long haul because we have four of each. Okay, so now south round. This time, let's just say we're in seat 10, 8, 9, 10. That would be south. South seat. We have a three flower. That's not going to help. We're in south seat. That's west flower, but we get a replacement. Five bam. I would go for a half flesh. Bams. Honors. Honors are winds and dragons. Here we have a chow. Five, six, seven. There's a potential pung, three of a kind. If we get pairs of these, we could maybe pung. Any pung of dragons is worth a fawn, so we might be able to get score there. This is our seat, and it is the wind of the round. So if we get a pair here and pung, we could get two fawn for that. One for the wind of the round, one because it's our seat. So that could be a very valuable tile right there if we pair up. I would play half flush with bams. Discard these. West round. North seat. This is a really good start right here. Four discards to a half flesh, including a potential dragon pung. Since we have two, the minute that red dragon goes down, we can pung and get fawn for that right there. So we would have the red dragons as a good strong starting point in our plan. Then here we have a pair of nines that could be a good potential pung, and then we have two potential chows, four, six, seven, eight, potential pung. So we have one, two, three, four, five. All we need to do is pair up or draw in more dots. Discard these, go for half flesh, dragon pung, and no flowers. So that would be three, four, 
5 fawn, which is not bad at all. That's how I would play this one. North round. I rolled a 7, so that's west. One, two, flower. We're in west seat. So we're not gonna get score for these. We need a three flower, but we can get replacements. This is gonna be difficult because we have four, four, three, two honors. I would pick a suit, probably BAMs because we do have child potential. We have child potential with there, but not here, here, but that leaves two isolated. Since we only have three cracks, I would discard those first. Try to draw in BAMs and honors. This is gonna be a long road to haul, maybe even a defense hand. Every one of those was gonna be quite a challenge. A lot of times when you get your drawn hand, you're gonna have a mixture of suits with the numbered tiles. And it makes sense because there's nine in each suit, one through nine each suit. So if you get three or four in each suit and maybe a winter dragon, that's pretty common way to start. And that would be a pretty long road to haul. If you ever get maybe seven, eight tiles in one suit, that's rare and very nice. Very nice start to one suit or half flesh. If you have a set at home, give this exercise a try and let me know if it helps you with your decision making with your drawn hand. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.